So while I was uh, researching uh, my condition, um, Asperger's or um, autism, high functioning autism, um, I came across a page which had a link to something called pathological demand avoidance. Um, and on researching it, I discovered or came to the conclusion that this just fits um, a particular person who I've got a friendship with. Um, and the, the friendship has always been particularly problematic um, by virtue of the fact that it's been an up uphill struggle trying to get anything from this person. <laughs> it's just like uh, the way I explained it was he is like a one way street where all the doors are closed and it's, it's called me street. And, you know, basically you don't get anything. It's, it's worse than speaking to a brick wall. Um, and thinking about it, you know, really when you want a friendship, what you want is something out of the box. That's what I want anyway. I mean, the, the, the whole relationship that I had with this person was very much a case of trying to work out exactly what was going on because it, is, it was just not normal, really. Um, and now it's, it's sort of like the penny has dropped. You know, it's, it's quite clear why this person behaved in this very strange way, you know, that I tried to understand. Um, and it's a case of... I've watched videos where people are talking about how you need to deal with these particular type of people and don't make demands and all the rest of it. And it's like, letters, mate. You know, it's like... Do I have all the hours in the day? I'd have all the hours in the day to actually, you know, counsel and, and deal with this person. Um, if that's what they need, it's a case of, you know, I need something that's out of the box. You know, I just want a regular relationship. Yeah, I've got, I might have Asperger's, but, you know, um, there's limits, you know. Um, and I just wonder about these people, whether they actually get ever get married, you know, uh, because, I mean, no offence to anybody who's got, you know, um, PDA, as it's called, Um but it's just, how can you have a relationship where it's all one way, you know? Um, and like I said, I'm not the type of person that, you know, to like pussyfoot around. Um, because of my condition, I'm very blunt and straight to the point and just say, you know, do this, do that. It's, I will negotiate, but it's a case of, um, but, to, but not to the nth degree, you know? Um, so yeah, there's... When I looked on YouTube, there was there's um, a chap who actually has this PDA and he's produced videos on his channel uh, to address the issue because he doesn't feel that there's a, a useful resource that's available for um, explaining about people that have PDA. Yeah. And he, he does seem to do a very good job, um, better than the, the material that I've read, which is available, produced by people who um, help people with PDA. So I'll I'll leave a link below to that. Um, and again, the condition is um, um, pathological demand avoidance, uh, which is where when you make demands of these people um, or people that have this condition, they will, you know, quite flatly refuse and uh, be obstinate.